Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 3. So last time we did a side quest. We got Odin and we also did the Onion Knight whatever mission. Anyways, this time we're going to be begin by going this way to this cave because I believe that's the right one, right? Let me see. Yeah. What you want to do now is that now that you have the, um, we're not, Une, sorry. Now that you've revived Une, what you want to do is actually come here to this cave for a very good reason, dude. Oh, whoops, you can't land there, you have to like land over here. For some reason, the game will not let you land on this darker grass, I don't know why, but anyways. This takes us to the ancient ruins. Okay, so. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my mic here a bit. The ancient ruins is, uh, semi-decent in length, but... Not too difficult, especially if you grind it a bit. My entire party is now at level 39. Which is really nice. I mean, by this point, the game does, you know, start to get uh, much, much harder. So do be careful. And it is especially important to be grinding a pretty good amount. Ooh, look at this. We recently had a cave-in, and Adamantite is blocking the way further into caves. Really? Well, we gotta take care of this. Let me handle this. Yeah, so see, if you don't have Une with you, you cannot progress here, because you need her to actually break this all this stuff in here. I mean, you can enter the cave if you don't have her, but the problem is that you then are not able to go past these boulders. Okay, so once she gets rid of that... Oh wait, there's three. Whoops, I thought there were two. Three boulders! Okay, they're gone. Yes. Huh, that was taxing. I sometimes forget my age. Oh, really? Okay. Let's go ahead and head south. So, this will take us to, well, two doors in here. Or, whatever. Oh, shoot. Some encounters and these, oh my god, these freaking enemies. Don't even, oh, shoot. These are, these are splitters. They split when hit. Oh god, let's use Fyra. Yes, use Holy, use Holy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, because she can use Holy and she can use Haste. I believe I've seen Haste a lot more than Holy. But, yeah, look at that. Powerful damage. Basically, if you don't kill these guys in one shot, they will split. But I think Ark can actually handle this. Yeah, look at that. Ark is strong enough to kill enemies in one shot like that. Luneth is not as strong for some reason. Yet he's a knight. Which I found kind of weird. And by the way, the experience that those splitters gave is absolute shit. Seriously. Oh my god. It's like a freaking troll move by Square Enix. Seriously. I mean, they do give good gill, but still, it's like, what the hell? Alright, there's an item, Reflect Mill, which I don't care for. But, as you already know, I'm going for every chest in the game. And, let's head over here to the next one. C. Yeah, I'm using a map, and so it's labeled C, okay, whatever. Anyways, this takes us to a room, which, I mean, if you go north, it actually takes us to a location that has three doors. The one on the left leads to an inn. Which you can heal and save. Yeah, strange, right? That they would put that in here. Oh, wait. What? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You can buy stuff from this guy, and you can sleep, you know, if you talk to the other guy. Huh, nothing worth buying here, though. Screw that. Let's get out of here. So, the next location, over here, is the weapon store. And this, well, let's take a look. A defender, which I have one equipped, and I should equip a second one. That'd be nice. Bloodlance, Medusa Arrow, you know what, let's buy a second defender just for the hell of it, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna... Um... Well, I mean, the thing is... Huh. Should I really... Yeah, you know what, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Buy it. Let's equip. On you. 80 and 95, so you see, it, it casts... It inflicts paralysis, but the thing is, this one's much better, cast protect, so... Yeah. Damage goes up. Okay, so I try and guess what the third and final, you know, door is going to be. If you guess Armor Shop, you are in fact correct. Let's see. Diamond Shield, Diamond Helm. White Robe, I want this. Very important. Black Robe, I want this. Diamond Bracers, um... Let's see, I have, oh, zero equipped, okay. Diamond Mail, only you, and then Diamond Gloves, I have two equipped. So yeah, I chose not to equip the Diamond Bracers then, I think. What the hell, I, I thought I did. Or which ones did I... Oh no, it was the Protect Ring, that's right. Okay. I see. So, 
May, yeah, look at that. Massive improvement. I, I was going to say like mage or something. I, I said May and then, oh my god, that sounded funny. White robe. And then you, black robe. There we go. They now have amazing defense. Well, not amazing, but like a big improvement. Anyways, we're done here. So once you're finished here, well, time to get out. Yeah, I believe there's no encounters in this room, but in here, there are. So let's see here. Let's head down, and then this way, and okay. This right here's a fork, and uh, what you want to do is we'll begin by going to the very bottom. There's a lot of locations here to, to go to. First things first, there's a door right here. And this one leads to a chest. Which contains black belt gi, what the heck is this? I don't even know, let's take a look. <sighs> oh, armor, okay. I don't think anyone can, can equip this, so that's kind of a problem. Yeah, there's ain't no one. Oh well. Let's go then. So that's that. The next room is... Okay, there's nothing over there to the right, but if we head up slightly and then right, there's a room here. Oh, damn. Pathetic experience from those freaking... Oh my god. Seriously. The experience that they give is absolute garbage. Okay, a chakra band. Let's go ahead and see if anyone can equip this, although I'm pretty sure no one can. It's, um... Yeah, it's a hat. Nope. Okay. Let's go back. So that's two doors. The next... Oh, damn. Okay, I'm back. Now, the next location is to go up, and now in here, there are going to be two locations. First things first, let's head left, and then up, and this... Oh, look at that. An oh, man. Looks vicious. Reminds me of the um, Salamander enemy. Attack, attack, guard, and you can use um, Blazaga, sure. Whatever. Oh, damn, she's helping me again. Holy, damn it. Actually, that's not bad either. Because that means I get more attacks in with Luneth and Arc, which is overall higher DPS damage per second. 4830. Oh, damn. That's crazy. That is crazy. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that with this and Luneth... Oh, damn. 5,900. That is strong for a black magic. Damn. Okay. Let me go ahead and heal because I've taken a bit of damage. Or at least Arc has. Yeah, Arc has. There. Okay. So as I was saying, we're going to enter this room. And this leads to a location which contains a chest. What is it? Rune Bell. Who cares? Alright, so there's one room left to explore in terms of getting a chest, which is over here to the right side. And these are some more new enemies. What the hell? I believe these are splitters as well. Oh man, so many splitters. Let's get a Fyraga on everyone. Sure. So again, splitter enemies, they are pretty bad in experience, but they are good in gill. They give a lot of gill. At least most of them do. I'm pretty sure some also give terrible gill. But... In general, they are good for, you know... Yeah, look at that. Multiply. Oh, God. 2,500, and you're dead. Alright, sweet. So let's just attack and attack, and then guard. And guard. And it should go down. So let's see, we're up to 10 minutes now. Okay, that's actually... Damn, we are making some really good progress. Like, we're progressing really fast. And I mean, that's with a few cuts. I think like two cuts, maybe? Two battles are going to be cut already. Because they're the same freaking enemy, so like, what the hell, right? Yeah, see, 3780 gil, that's pretty good. But only 1000 experience, oh god. Alright, so, the final room is right up here, this one, and this leads to a... Where is it? This one. Chest. Fairy claws, which nobody cares about, or at least I don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure you do if you use... What is it, like a monk or something? I don't know. Alright, so... Once you get all four chests from four rooms, you want to head down here, and this leads to an extremely linear path, I must say. And basically, this pathway is eventually going to... Oh, damn. Okay, so as I was saying, this is going to lead to an extremely linear path, and let's see, I gotta go down. We gained some level ups from that. Yes, we did. Level ups for everybody. Yeah, see, one thing I did is that because my... Like, every character was, like, extremely unbalanced in terms of how much experience they needed for the next level. So what I did off-screen is I actually killed my own members, yes, I'm freaking mean, right? To balance out their experience so that they kind of level up around the same time. Which, I mean, it's just to make it more convenient for me for this Let's Play, you know, and be like, oh, you know, this is, this is my party at this level. 
rather than being like, oh, one character is this, and you know, the other character is this, so... I figured it was a very good thing to do. But I mean, if you're playing, like, by yourself, you know, non-let's play, it's not really... convenient to do that. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting there, definitely. Let's, um, go down, yep. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. So, this takes us to, actually, where the hell are we? Because I don't even... I mean, I think we're close. We should be close. Anyways, a few more bridges here, and then head south, and let's see. Oh, right down here. Yes. We are extremely close. I, I can see the map. I can see it. And... Damn it. Okay, now we're done. Yes. This takes us to a very small room. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. Shut up with the stupid commentary, Jesus Christ. Alright, here we are in a ship known as the Invincible, the final airship of the game. And this contains pretty much everything that you want. Yes. Now listen up. The stairs over there are the way out to the surface. Okay. When you want to board the Invincible again, stand in its shadow and tap on the ship. You'll see an exclamation mark when you get near any mountains. Tap on it to rev up the engines. Not any mountains, only specific mountains, by the way. Tap on the ship to stop it and take a break. You can steer the ship again by standing at the helm. Did you take that all in? Yes. Good. Now follow me. Put Gil on these thingies here and you can buy items, weapons, and even armor. I've also summoned Fat Chocobo in the corner for a draft. Where are you? Come out now. Yeah. Chubby chicken. Oh my god. Fat Chocobo appears. You can rest up in the beds over there too. Okay. Doga's calling me. I have to go. You're going already? Yes. I trust you to do the rest yourselves. Remember, go to the Cave of Shadows north of Amura and recover the Fang of Earth. Come to Doga's Manor once you get it. Doga and I must give you something before you continue on your journey. Good luck with the Fang of Earth. I'll see you in Doga's Manor. Okay. Well, there we go. Hune has left the party, which means that we no longer have her amazing holy and haste abilities. Anyways, this right here, as she just said, you can buy stuff. Simply go up to it, tap on it, and yeah, so basically these are level 7 magic, which I already have, so screw that. But let me see. I have... Hmm. Sleep arrow, poison arrow, nope, no. Well, actually, I can get a dark knife, because that's not bad. 93. Um, huh. I'll buy one, I guess. I'll do that. Because it's a slight improvement, I think. It's 93 attack. So let me see. 78 and 89 deals wind damage. Get rid of the beh behemoth knife and put... Yeah. Nice improvement. I could get a second one, but the thing is that it would only be four attack of a difference. For 30,000? Like, really? It's not worth it. It's not. And now here, let's see, Diamond Shield, Diamond Helm, Diamond Bracers, Diamond Mail, wait, yeah, Diamond Mail, Diamond Gloves, White Robe, and Black Robe, which I already have, and Gaia Vest, which no one can equip, so, nothing. And then this one contains items. Let's see, anything useful? Not really, I mean, there's Otter Shroom here, but I already have Teleport, so who cares? Alright. And then, as she said, Fat Chocobo is right here. And then over here you can rest up. Now, am I full? No, I'm not. Let me go ahead and rest up. And yes, it's a free heal. Free heal, people. So anyways, um, now that we have this airship, we can climb over mountains. We can do it. The thing is, there are only certain mountains that you can climb. You cannot climb them all. So let me go ahead and try and talk to you about which ones you can and which ones you can't. But first off, these guys. Look at that. What a hero makes. Heroes and champions like us must stay in, to in top shape, eating and sleeping well are paramount. Now drop what you're holding and go outside and exercise. Okay. Is there, is there more mail from them? No. Nope. Alright, that's it. Now, you. This is where you can see your records. Basically, you have your best cherry and you can see like you know the stats of every single freaking enemy. Which is actually pretty cool. I mean, look at that. But I'm not going to go over the entire thing, because who cares, right? Well, I'm, I'm sure some of you care. Achievements. Chest open, 67%. Clear time, I haven't beat the game. Enemies defeated. Battles fled. Max damage. Max hits. 
See, max damage 18,000, even though it's only shown 9999. That's what I'm talking about. You can still break the damage cap, but it just won't look like physically you can't see the number. And who cares about cards because screw that thing. Alright, so we're pretty much done here. Yeah. So, let's drive it. Let's drive this damn ship. Oh yeah. Look at this, and we're at 20 minutes now. I think I can still... oh shoot. Hmm. Well. We are now able to go to a lot of places, and we still have the Nautilus, so it's important to know that. But let me see, what I want to do now is, um... Hmm. I think it's better to go... Oh shoot. You know what? No, no, no. It, it's not... Damn it! What am I doing? One sec, guys. Okay, I'm back, people. So, basically, when it comes to this, the Invincible, first off, it's a slower ship than the Nautilus. That's its one disadvantage. And the other thing is that it's also, un like, you you can't go underwater. But, I mean, you do have the convenience of, you know, resting whenever, buying items, getting the fat chocobo, looking at your best cherry and other stuff and whatever. But, anyways... One thing I can do is this, there are certain mountains in the game that you can climb over. Basically, they're the smaller mountains and the ones that are, like, skinny. So, in here, exclamation mark appears, simply tap over it and you can do it. So, we want to come here because there's actually a secret, um, town here, somewhere. Okay, that's a pond, or a lake, whatever. But this town right here, very important, actually not very important, it's more of a side quest, so what am I talking about, right? But, I am going to save, of course, before we head in there, let me go ahead and do that. Save on this one. Okay, let's enter the freaking town. We're at 23 minutes, but I've done a few cuts. I can do a little bit of work here. So let's see, here's an inn, which I mean, like nobody freaking cares about. So, get out of here. Um, there are three chests somewhere, let me see. Now, were they in the water? I think they, oh, damn it, they are. Okay, okay, let's go. I believe we have to head Wait, what the hell? How do I get there? Dude. It's not through there. Or... What? What is this? Oh, there's a chest there, but you know what? Screw that for now, because I want to... Dude, there were a few other stuff. Hold on. What the hell? How do I get to the water location? Yeah, there's a weapon shop, an armor shop there. Huh. That is interesting, because see, there's water there, but then I can't even go. Dude, game, what the hell, game? No, it's through the top then. That, that doesn't make any sense then. Seriously, it doesn't. Okay, guys, I remember now. You actually have to come over here like this. Yes, and you enter this cave. So in here, there are a few things. I mean, first off, there's this guy over here. Who you want to talk to? I seek one who is worthy of wielding this blade. Let us test your metal. Okay. So we have to fight here a shinobi. Alright. Um, this guy, he's actually pretty simple. Simply guard, guard. I mean, I can... Yeah, just guard. I mean, guard, guard, really? Wait, what the hell am I doing? I mean, I meant attack, attack. Okay, I already did that. Sorry, people. Guard, and you can use Fyraga. So, I mean, I would put the stats of this guy, but the thing is, he doesn't really look like a boss. I'm just going to go ahead and not put him in, like put his stats, who cares, I mean he's not too hard, he has a, he has pretty decent strain, that's, that's for sure, but besides that, really nothing worth, you know, like noteworthy, really not, attack attack, you can go ahead and use Akira on Ingus, and then you can use Fyraga on you, there, okay, 5,000, and he's down, just like that, so beating this guy actually grants you, well, a couple things. Or is it one thing or two things? I think it's one thing actually, so not a couple things. Truly a battle of extraordinary magnitude, yes, yes. Obtain Kiku Ichimonchi. Yes, the amazing weapon. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, so this weapon can only be equipped by, I believe, Dark Knights and Ninjas, or maybe only Ninjas. The thing is, we don't have Ninjas. Oh shoot, I forgot about this. That's, um... He's poison, huh? Oh, what the hell? You're blinded too? Damn. Okay. There, done. 
Let's go down now. Let's head, head south. And this is going to lead us to the pathway. The hidden pathway which is going to contain... Where is it? Where is it? This. There are three items here. A high potion. A demon mail. And... Blessed hammer. Oh wait, four, sorry. Demon shield. Yeah, there we go. So that's it. And now it is time to get the hell out of here and go back to town. By running through this freaking thing again. That you've already seen. Alright, so there is a cave here. The thing is I'm at 27 minutes. And I'm not sure if I can... Oh god, should I just... I mean, I can traverse it. I really can. Let's go. The cave itself is actually really fast. It's really, really short. So all you want to do is... Well, I mean, there are stuff here. There's a blessed hammer. And then heading this way will lead to kind of a secret. Okay, I just fought those enemies in the uh, the previous location, actually, that cave, the ancient cave or whatever. But one thing that's noteworthy is that the enemies in here all split, so you want to use a dark knight, like a, you know, a, a weapon that can, I guess, not make them split, or you can just have high attack like me and not worry about it. I mean, really, I that's what I'm doing. And, oh, look at that, new enemies. All right, so these guys, well, attack, attack, um, guard, and sure, you can go ahead and use Fyraga. I believe these also split, so do be careful. Do be careful. Let's see, 3978, okay, at least I killed them. But yeah, the first item was Blessed Hammer, the second was Demon Mail, the third is a Kotetsu, I believe, and the, um, oh no, wait, no, the second was a Shura, what am I talking about? Oh, wait. No, 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 it wasn't, it was, dude, no, it was a Demon Mail. The third item is a Kotetsu, and the fourth is an Ashura, and I'm gonna be getting the third and fourth right here. Kotetsu, and Ashura, and that's it here. That's it. There are only four chests in this cave. So, let's use teleport. Alright, so this video might be a bit longer. I'm up to 29 minutes. I don't know how many cuts I'm going to be doing. Hopefully, I can get it to about 20 minutes or so. So, let's get out of here. Next time, we're going to progress into the next part of the game, which is the, um, the Cave of Shadows. A rather long dungeon, but I hope I can do it all in one video. It's pretty long. So, let's hope for the best. Anyways, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.